I've never used a glue gun before. Oh my gosh, I sound ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. My name is Laura with A Life Observe. If you're new new here, welcome. For those of you who have seen me before, thank you for coming back. All right, I didn't like the way this junk journal, I took a book, took it apart to make the spine bigger. I didn't like the way it was coming out. So I'm starting again. The only thing I'm keeping is um, this, because it's already glued on there and that's the size of the spine that I'm going to be uh, wanting it's two inch spine all right so I cut this piece to go here but I thought usually um, I make uh, closures uh, most of them are like an eyelet here an eyelet here and then you tie it well I thought I could put this um, piece of lace. I'm going to just kind of eyeball it with the middle of it and there's tons of other little pieces attached to it. Cat hair, other threads. Okay, so then once I do that, that will be good to go and I don't have to worry about um, you know, putting the closure uh, with eyelets, and it's already good to go. All right, look what I'm using. I think this is the first time that I've used a glue gun. So I'm, this is going to be an experiment, because I'm usually not into glue guns, but I'm going to show you real fast how to do this. And we'll see how it goes, right? <laughs> That's a lot of glue. All right, so I'm gonna put this on there. Oh, there we go. Okay, there, nice. All right, and I had Seriously, I had one of these out, and I don't know what happened to it. Um, it's just like it's gone. <laughs> okay. Get ready for the next step. Put this over here so I don't burn anything. Like me. Um, I need to start saying, um, I don't know why I say it. I know I'm trying to search for my words and they just don't come. I am trying. I am going to use this piece for the spine and it's going to probably take a while to uh, dry. Well, maybe not because I've, I've not used a glue gun before so I don't know for this process I've used a glue gun before I just haven't used it for this kind of I've never used a glue gun before oh my gosh I sound ridiculous okay <laughs> uh what side do I want it that kind of looks cool do I want it that side you know what, I'm going to do it this side. You know, just... Ooh, that's hot. Well, it's not hot, but it's warm. Okay. Okay. But now i got to get the edges, right? Okay. i got the middle. So this is probably going to be... Oh, once it goes down... I'm running very, very low on my fabric glue, but you know what? I'm going to make it work with the glue gun, as long as I don't burn myself. 
I actually burned myself today cooking dinner. Actually, not cooking dinner. <laughs> I was dyeing some paper. Like I have a whole stack. Where is it at? I was coffee dyeing and uh, I just put it in my oven and keep it at warm, you know, the setting for warm. And when I went to go grab the paper out, I touched the the rack and I kind of burned myself. It wasn't that bad, but you know, it got a little toasty on my finger. So I think we got that side pretty good. If I have to go back with the um, Fabri-Tac, I can go back with the Fabri-Tac. Or I can also use Mod Podge. So yeah, I can also do that. And I don't like the way this is just coming undone all of a sudden unraveling on me. So where's my fabric scissors? Just cut that. Okay. Come on. Oh, I just cut that piece right there. Did you see that? Oh my goodness. Okay. This is not... I'll be unraveling all day. I need to stop. Look at that. What am I doing wrong, guys? It's alright. Adds a little bit of extra grunginess, or whatever you want to call it. Ugh. I need to I need to use my fabric pack. So let's get that down. I'm being very quiet, very quiet. Yeah, I don't know if I'm a fan of the glue gun. Don't think I'm a fan. I wonder if it's just going to... No, it's down. It's stuck on there good. But I don't know if that's from... That's from the Fabri-Tac. Oh, I'm having issues. Well, again, you want to find out what not to do? Just come to my channel. Okay. Yeah, I don't like that. So I'm probably have to cover it up somehow. All right. So let's get this glued down. I'm going to go back to the glue gun. You guys, uh, this is a new technique. What it's I don't think it's a technique cuz it's not working. But um <laughs> I'll get it to work <laughs> eventually. Okay. I'll probably just glue those down really quick. I'm going to go again. Okay. So who all got snow this week? We got some. I'm in Colorado. And we got some snow. There we go. One last hurrah there. Okay. 
There's the trick. Don't get burned. Flip it. I haven't looked at the camera, so I don't know what's getting on camera. And I apologize if you don't see anything. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to let that completely dry. Yeah, I don't like that at all. What's that? Don't know what that is. Um, I have these paper flowers and thought I could put that there. Okay, I'm going to let this completely dry before I put in the signatures. So we'll come back and I'll probably save that for another day. But I put my paper, my signatures together already. And I think I'm just going to do, I'm not even going to do a no sew bind. There was somebody that I saw, and I'm sorry, I can't think of it right now, who just did, a, well, not this. <sighs> I think I'm going to use this, and I don't know if I have enough. Remember, I only have a month and two weeks left before I can buy stuff. But I think what I'm going to do is just do the, um, I'm not even going to sew these in. I'm just going to put it in with the twine, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Let's see, can I crack this? Oh, I didn't even glue those on. I'll do that later. Okay. Yes. Okay, it's coming along great. Looks good. I'll probably add a little bit more here. You can see a little bit of bumps, but I you can always cover that up. But what I was saying is, so let's see, one, two, three. Let's do one, two, three. And this is what I'm talking about. Let's put those aside. And we're just going to take this twine. And we're just going to tie it in. But the only thing I'm worried about is this. Look at That's pretty, um, what's the word I'm looking for, people? It's been compromised. <laughs> so let's add some sticker washi. I can get it out of there. Okay. And I think I'll just put it. Should I put it this way? Maybe I'll do I'll do crisscross. Or yeah, crisscross. I'll put one across. And then I'll put another one on the top. How's that? That should keep it from getting compromised. Okay. And you might want to do the bottom edge too, but that look, it doesn't look like it's compromised. Now see, look, I got that word in my head. I'm going to just use it. Okay. This is where I wish I had somebody to say, hey, can you put your finger right there? <laughs> I'm just going to tie it in a bow because I'll probably redo redo this with the help of somebody. Okay. So there is one signature. Oh, it's not even on the 
it's not even on the spine. It's like on the outside of the book cover. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I see. I see how you are. I see how you are. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay. This needs to be... I can't really tell until I tie it. But I don't think I have it on. I think I have it on the spine now. Yes. So see, I'm going to have one, two more, and of course it's going to be a lot tighter. And then I already have my built-in closure right here. Okay, I know it's a little wonky, but it'll work. Okay. And then... The glue did not work, so I'll probably have to use Fabri-Tac. But hey, you'll come back and it'll look really cool because it already looks cool. All right, guys, that's it for today. Now you know what not to do and how to do stuff if you follow my lead. It may not be the prettiest, but we will get we will get it there. Like it looked like, look, I had to take off that whole piece. I don't know if you can see it, but I just did not like it. So I'm going to probably put pieces of paper here. I might keep this here. I don't know yet, but I want to cover this up. So yeah, we're going to make, we're going to make it look really pretty. Alright guys, if you didn't totally hate my video for today, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, please subscribe. I'm trying to get, I've been stuck at 368, 370. People keep signing on and then, or subscribing and then unsubscribing, but that's okay. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. But please, I'm trying to get to 400. Maybe by the end of the year, I'll probably do a lot of unboxings in the beginning of the year because I get to buy stuff. I'm no longer on my no buy year and I think I did pretty darn good. Alright guys, thanks so much. Ta-ta for now.